What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here, back again, but with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team bundle opening video. And today, guys, what we're going to be opening up are, are the Game Changer bundles. We are going to do five Game Changer packs, 5,000 points. Uh, right now, the, the topper that you get, you get an all-rookie team player. Um, personal opinion, I think this is probably one of the worst bundle toppers that they've done. There are about three or four cards that are actually worth a decent amount that you could pull. The likelihood of getting them is very, very slim. Uh, so I'm not expecting to get anything out of the bundle topper. But I still wanted to do the Game Changer Packs. And, and EA knows right now that people are going to be opening up these Game Changer Packs. Because golden freaking tickets are in the game right now, guys. Odell Beckham Jr., Eric Berry, the first two golden tickets are currently in the game. I've also heard that there are still silver tickets available. Not confirmed. I don't think EA has tweeted anything about that in the past 12 hours or so. So it's very possible that there still are a few silver tickets available. So that would be amazing to pull, obviously. Uh, and then there's also the 24-hour uh, edition of Reggie White that you can currently pull. Uh, Larry Allen stuff is in the game as well. So those are the two legends for today. Really hoping that we can get something decent out of these Game Changer packs. I haven't had anything good come out of a Game Changer pack since, like, what, three, four weeks into the game. So it's been a quite a while, and hopefully we can turn this thing around today, guys. Let's go ahead and open up this Game Changer bundle and see if we can get anything decent. First thing, we are going to start off with the topper. Like I said, very unlikely that I'm going to get anything decent out of it. And we get Jawan James. I actually opened that in a pack earlier today. Uh, so I know that that's not going for very much right now. So what I'm going to do right now is put this up for a 150 or a 100 right now live on stream. So if you guys are uh, new to the stream over on twitch.tv forward slash click with TV, I occasionally will do this, just throw up cards that I get that are decent but not really worth a ton. Uh, so there you guys go. Go over there and subscribe to that Twitch channel if you are watching right now on YouTube and you, and you don't currently watch on Twitch. We do these pack openings, tend to do them live on the weekends, uh, and then we also do pink slips live on the weekends as well. So that being said, guys, uh, I accidentally exited out of the menu, but uh, let's get back over here and open up these Game Changer packs. Let's go. First one, Marshall Falk on the cover. It'd be kind of cool to pull just like any of those other legends too. Uh, okay, gold badge. I'll take that. That's not too bad. Terrence Williams. Okay, Danny Trevathan. Cromarty. C.V. Johnson. An elite. Oh, it's a 5,000 coin quick sell. Oh my gosh. Brutal. You got to be kidding me. That sucks. Scott Wells, Golden Tate, Atibia, Ruben. Oh my gosh, this pack is awful so far, guys. Just awful. And Kevin Burnett. So absolutely nothing really of value out of this. Um, the gold badge might be the most expensive thing that we got out of this entire pack. Unless Cromartie's going for a little bit. I don't know. I haven't paid attention to that. But yeah, not a good starting pack, guys. Hopefully we can get something decent out of the rest of these. And we get Lamar Miller Final Edition. That's actually a decent pull. Uh, not worth, you know, 70,000 coins or whatever it costs to pull a game changer. But still a decent pull. At least we get an elite card. Um, let's keep going here. Gold badge. Um, Shelly Smith. Janoris Jenkins. Come on. Give me something. I got another Kevin Burnett, really. And Jason Peters. So really not a whole lot out of this pack either. Uh, definitely the Lamar Miller is probably the best card that we pulled out of that pack. And we can see there that uh, that we did sell that. Uh, I forget who it even was now. The, the all-rookie card that we pulled. Uh, Chris Houston. Come on. It would be great to get an elite badge out of this, wouldn't it? I, I forgot when I was when I started this that I think you're guaranteed a gold badge at least out of each of these, um, which is nice, I guess. Helps pay for the pack just a little bit. Oh, Jerry Hughes. There we go. At least we get a, a Road to the Playoffs Elite. So, I mean, that's decent at least. I know this card's not going for a ton, but he's actually a pretty kick-ass pass rusher if you guys haven't seen this card. 88 speed with 94 Excel. Um, not great in much else than that, but uh, he does have a good finesse move as well. And uh, that's about it. I think his block shedding is pretty mediocre. Yes, it's an 80 for block shed. So not the best card in the world, but still an elite pull. Happy about that. And Andy Dalton. Damn, man. It'd be nice to pull something really good out of one of these final packs here. We're getting close here to the end, guys. I think we got one more after this. Brian Arakpo. Luis Delmas. Kiko Alonso. And oh, Taron Armstead. Clowney. Come on. Give me something. Give me something. 
Carlos Rogers, Dante Robinson. Dude, these packs are just so bad right now. Oh my goodness. And the gold badge, of course. I forgot. That's the last thing in there. So really not anything great out of these packs either. I mean, unless uh, one of these gold cards is going for a lot and I, I haven't paid attention, which is definitely a possibility, I guess. But man, there's a lot of bad stuff in these packs right now. Really, really a lot of bad stuff. Let's pull a legend, guys. Come on. Give me something here. Khalil Mack, gold. It would be great if it was Khalil Mack, uh, all rookie team. Joe Barksdale, gold badge. Not one elite badge out of these things, man. Awful. Jerry Hughes, the other one. Come on. Dirk Wolf. Dude, this is our last card right now in this entire thing. Just utterly pooped on on this entire bundle, which I'm really not that surprised because of the pack odds, but let's see what the final card is. It is Carlos Dansby. So, damn, dude, really not anything great out of these packs at all. Probably the best card that I got in the entire thing, unless I missed something, was Lamar Miller. So you guys can judge for yourself if you think these Game Changer bundles are worth it. Uh, I would say I definitely didn't even come anywhere near making my money back on these things, so that sucks. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways. If you did and you're watching over on YouTube right now, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. If you guys are watching on Twitch, please be sure to press that follow button. And if you're really liking it, please be sure to hit the subscribe button over there on Twitch as well. Thank you guys again. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys again soon.